ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Just about to uh, cut the lawn with the lawnmower. I already did the weed eating and I forgot. Uh, I should have brought you guys along. Sam thinks I'm talking to somebody. And I am. I'm talking to you guys. But, uh, yeah, so date, light, date night last night went really well. Carol and I went to a uh, bar called, bar restaurant called Milestones. And, uh, kind of on the casual high end <laughs> really good food um, we both ordered uh, a deep fried cauliflower as an appetizer and we both liked it but we probably never order it again it's funny because the uh, Carol asked the waitress do you, do you like this cauliflower thing she's like eh, it's a hit and miss with most people and so it was it was a miss <laughs> although we, we enjoyed trying it for, for uh, once and we probably won't do that again uh, I had like a, a surf and turf, so I had, it was, I think it was a 10 ounce steak cooked medium rare, and then I had shrimp all over the top with some type of a um, lobster sauce all over it, and then I had a little thing of fries and some veggies, and uh, Carol had some chicken thing that she asked to put half the goat cheese on, there was, it was kind of like piece of chicken and goat cheese and piece of chicken and and had all this nice it was a really really nice looking meal and uh every time i do a review with carol or at least go to a restaurant and then we say what what do you like or don't like about it carol cleaned the plate this time ladies and gentlemen so if i can figure out exactly what that was called i'll make sure i put that up on the title somewhere uh up on the screen somewhere because carol finished every single morsel off that plate and there was like zero complaints whatsoever and that's that's a pretty good thing uh good review for carol and for you if you ever go to milestones uh so right now i am i, I got my a whole bunch of work done earlier and it's still processing a whole bunch of other stuff so while it's doing that i'm trying to double up my time so I thought I'd cut the lawn before I go away for four days. And then I'm going to wash my car and vacuum it all out and make it look nice before we go. Um, yeah, so tomorrow uh, I have to leave here at 4 a.m. Get to uh, gyms by 4.30, pick them up, go to Terminal 1, park the car, and then get on our Air Canada flight. I think it's five hours and 15 minutes to Seattle. So look forward to that.
us. Oh, it feels good when that's done, doesn't it? One other thing I wanted to show you guys. Check this out. Very pretty bird. So, because we had such a cold winter, um, Carol decided to put up a bird feeder right there. I have to fill it up right now. And of course, all the seed spills out. And one of the things that planted itself was a sunflower. You can see the yellow starting to happen. It'll be a late bloom, but in those two, three, four, and this one's opening finally. Very cool. Five. Very cool. Who knew? Well, of course the seeds are going to plant themselves. The squirrels aren't picking up. Ah, Got to hydrate. All right, next on the list. We have to uh, vacuum up my car. Make it look purdy. Look at this thing, eh? It's from the 70s. Maybe even the 60s. Anybody guess? <laughs> That's cool, though. It's because it was bagless back in the day. I think it's... Oh, this one. And that goes like that. You just take this thing out, empty your pouch, and start all over again. That's all she wrote, people. And that's how you vacuum a car. I'm gonna get the Windex and clean up some of the stuff like this. That, do the dashboard, windshield, do all inside here. It's gonna look pretty when we're done.